In today's deep dive, we're unraveling the economic shockwaves sent across the nation by the recent collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. This event isn't just a shocking headline, it's a critical blow to our national economy, with a spotlight on inflation, supply constraints, and particularly, the automotive industry. Picture this, a bridge that's not just a road over water, but a vital artery for U.S. commerce suddenly vanishes. The key bridge was more than concrete and steel. It was a crucial conduit for vehicles, sugar, farming products, construction materials, and more. Its fall has not only disrupted local commutes but choked the flow of essential goods and materials nationwide. Now let's zero in on the immediate victim of this disaster, the automotive sector. This bridge was a key route for parts shipments and vehicle imports from industry titans like Audi, BMW, Ford, and Toyota. With this artery cut, the automotive supply chain faces severe disruptions, potentially driving up the prices of new cars as supply struggles to meet demand. At a time when the Fed is closely monitoring inflation, this event could steer monetary policy in unexpected directions, possibly affecting anticipated rate cuts. But the impact goes beyond dollars and cents. It hits home for thousands. The immediate job losses, especially in sectors directly tied to the port's operations, and the cascading effects on national supply chains paint a grim picture of the employment landscape in Maryland and beyond. As we look to the future, this catastrophe underscores the urgent need for resilient infrastructure and innovative supply chain management. The path to recovery calls for a concerted effort from all corners. In closing, the key bridge collapse is a stark reminder of our vulnerabilities and a call to action for robust economic and infrastructural resilience. As we navigate the aftermath and look towards rebuilding, the implications of this event on monetary policy, inflation, and the automotive industry will be critical areas to watch. Stay tuned for ongoing coverage on this story and its ripple effects on our economy and daily lives. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more insights.